What is up everybody? JJ1324 here and today I'm bringing you a YouTube update. Not everyone got this update as far as I know so if you don't get have it don't worry I'm gonna briefly cover it all here. But YouTube sent out an email to some YouTube commentators as explaining everything that they're doing. I have a list right here of Pretty much everything that was explained. Um, some things I'm going to talk about just shortly. Then there are the major ones, such as what's been going on with YouTube's ad never ad ad revenue and stuff like that, as well as restriction mode. So I'm going to talk about the simple stuff first. For now, so first off, as well as translating captions YouTube viewers can now also translate video tiles and descriptions which is useful because I don't really speak other languages so if you guys want to do that that's fine I could actually use that uh, that small bit of help so that would be great also because the annotation editor is not used, it's like, for one, I remember from the email, it's like 70% don't, has been uh, decreased over the year. The editor is going to be removed on May 2nd. You can still, like, your annotations will still work, but you will no longer have... But you can no longer add new ones or uh, fix them. So I really don't use annotations. I also don't use end cards now that I think about it. Mainly because I don't know how to. But that's not big of a deal to me. Um, also now I can check my subscriber account data in real time on my channel in my watch pages. So... That's good for me. I can keep track of how many subscribers I have and that can also that's just helpful for me as I can keep I don't have to constantly go up to my page, click on it, wait for a very long load time and see how many subscribers I have. Now that's just the short stuff. Now we're getting into the more meaty part. First off is restriction mode. A lot of people were angry at restriction mode because it prevents specific people from watching their videos. Uh, first off, age uh, restriction mode does not include age. It's basically just keywords that the system looks for to prevent certain people from watching them. It's f to prevent hate. A lot of people have noticed that it's mainly been with the LGBTQT, I know I said that wrong, group, like coming out videos. So, restriction mode is based on metadata, the title, and the language used in the videos. It can also be put, implemented by the viewers. Uh, YouTube said that they're hopefully going to fix that. Now, here's the biggest one strengthening YouTube for advertisers and creators. For those who don't know, the advertise a lot of, YouTube has lost nearly a million dollars in from advertisers pulling their videos pulling their advertisements off of specific off of the uh, YouTube off, off of YouTube. Why? Well because they found hold up I'm covering my camera. Because they found their video, found their ads on inappropriate videos, like hate videos and such. So, that's a clear wake up to YouTube that something's up. So, they're going to change that. And I have a list of that right here. For, for one thing, they're going to be tougher, they're going to make a tougher stand on hate speeches. So they're going to, and for those who don't know, Hate speeches tends to get what the majority of the monetization, apparently. So they're going to broaden their uh, demonetization policies, make it more wide. So, not so that way you can block hate speech, but you can't block someone, something else. 
So that way it's more all encompassing, which is a smart move. Um, another thing they're doing is that they're going to be. Um, I'm just checking for my mom. They're also going to be strengthening advertisement controls for video and display ads. These new controls will make it easier for ads to exclude high-risk content and uh, fine-tune where they want their ads to appear. You, let's say, would you want your Pepsi ad to be on a, let's say, hate speech? No, you wouldn't. Would you like a gaming a gaming ad on a gaming video? Yes. Would you like diapers to be with a gaming video? No. You want it to be more with the kids stuff. So that's what they're go basically going to do. They can. Re it's going to be ads cannot be on certain content and ads be on other specific content. They're also going to try to accelerate the appeal status. So hopefully, videos with that way, if you get demonetized, you can have it be reviewed quicker. Um, they're also going to safeguard creators from in their YouTube Partner Program. I'm part of the YouTube Partner Program, and it I basically that's how I get money. I don't actually really get money. I just I really don't. So pretty much, it's going to prevent abuse that hurts their the creators' earnings. It's also going to prevent imposters, impo impersonations of their channels, which is a big problem. People, it's a really big problem for certain YouTubers. I don't have it, but some do. So this is good to implement that they've implemented this because some big two YouTubers like PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, all those people could ro probably get royally screwed over. They're also restating their commitment to um, minor minorities. They have stated that that they have seen people being underrepresented. I'm going to start moving now so you may see a change of lighting. So, sorry if you can't see my face. I'm now in a dark hallway. Hold up. And that's somewhat better. And I'm moving over to my desk. And there's the lighting. But so yeah, they're gonna. They say that people have been uh, underrepresented. Um, they've also have stated that they have noticed that a bunch of people in the LBQT group have been wrongfully demonetized and age restricted. So they plan on fixing that, and they've stated on their on our blog what restriction mode is. Now that's everything that the email basically encompassed that I found extremely important that should be should have been talked about. It's good that YouTube sent this email because they have acknowledged that yes, we know we have a problem, and now we're going to state. It. The best thing you need to do when there is a problem like this is that you need to state why there's a problem. You say why there's a problem and how you fix it, which YouTube did greatly. They're moving forward. And hopefully they continue to improve in the future. I've seen one of my favorite YouTubers actually quit YouTube, which is very sad. Now I want now what I said, I, I what I said about the YouTube losing ad like a million ad revenue. That's just what I heard on the internet myself. So take that with a grain of salt. So now that I've, now that YouTube's wised up, hopefully we'll see these changes implemented for the better. And if not, people can clear state why what's wrong. Though I think people should not be so angry about it as they are and be a bit more calm. Ang anger tends to go like nowhere. <sighs> but with that out of the way, I'm in a JD1324. I hope to see these uh, improvements implemented soon. And I hope to see y'all on the other side of possible. Take care, everybody.